Okay, and do you want to know now how masks actually do work? So here's a guy, Jerry Mask for all Howard. <laughs> He's a distinguished research scientist and co-founder of something else, and he chairs something else. And uh, masks for all, top scientists say yes. That's all in his, boy, he's got a lot. That's all in his uh, very, a lot of information inside Jeremy P. Howard's uh, Twitter bio. So he decided to tweet this stuff out, and so I thought I would share with you, and it's about masks, right? I'm going to trust that guy more than Fauci, because I bet that guy doesn't have uh, an axe to grind, or he's not, why would, ha I don't know, maybe, he, who knows? Who knows? But I'm going to go with this guy now because Fauci's been proven to be a liar. So here's what this guy says, right? He says, so these do not, these non-medical masks were all meant to be wearing actually do anything? Well, yes. Yes, they almost certainly do. Here's a thread about the current science. Let's start by explaining this striking picture of a researcher speaking into a laser scattering chamber. So can you see this picture? That's a person. And then they, they have eye mask on and then this little red circle here is when they talk that's kind of the stuff that comes out of their mouth you can see it like it's got a special light on it that you can see it uh and now here they are when they put a napkin over their mouth same thing nothing you don't see anything so the point here it's actually stopping shit from coming out of your mouth and so it would stop the spread of the virus that's the point about this that's just a napkin by the way so without, that's a paper towel. It says without a paper towel and then with a paper towel. That's from the New England Journal of Medicine. That's the speech generated oral fluid droplets with laser light scattering. That's what that is. He says the pictures above show speech droplets, which are believed to be the key transmission vector for COVID-19 with versus... Uh, vis with versus without a paper towel face cover. As you see, nearly all the droplets are blocked. So here, here's without a mask. So here's a video of that without a mask. Now I'm recording. Stay healthy. Great. So do you stay healthy. I don't know if you can see, but there's those little lights Great. that are lighting up. That's loud. They're hard to, hard to see. Stay healthy. So you see, you can see little things light up as he talks. Now he's going to put the mask on, and the point is you won't be able to see those little lights. Are you recording? Yeah. Stay healthy. So no lights whatsoever. Louder. Stay healthy. No Louder. lights. Stay healthy. Nothing. So that shows you that it actually does help. Masks actually do help. Viral shedding. So that's what this is referred to as viral shedding. So what viral shedding is, that's when a virus replicates inside your body and then is released into the environment. So that's a virus that you made inside your body, then you spew it out. That's called viral shedding. At that point, it may be contagious. For the coronavirus that causes COVID-19, it's not known exactly when this occurs after someone is infected. So after the coronavirus infects them, how soon do they start replicating it and then start spreading it? They don't know. Evidence suggests that the novel coronavirus is most contagious when symptoms are worse and viral shedding is high. However, it appears that someone is contagious prior to developing symptoms, suggesting that viral shedding is occurring even early in the infection. So it's happening at all the time. So Again, your viral shedding, meaning infecting people from the moment you get it. That's what I'm reading here. That's from WebMD. So then he says, the reason we look at speech is because we now know that COVID-19 results in viral shedding in the upper respiratory tract where speech can result in droplet formation. Few asymptomatic patients show significant lower respiratory tract shedding. So what they're saying is that even if you're asymptomatic, you, you still show viral shedding or you know what i mean so here you go that that's upper this is the upper respiratory tract okay 
So the SARS COVID-2 virus is primarily transmitted through virus laden fluid particles ejected from the mouth of infected people. In some countries, the public has been asked to use face covers to mitigate the risk of virus transmission, yet their outward effectiveness is not ascertained. This is from Cornell University. We used a background oriented Schillerin technique to investigate the airflow ejected by a person while quietly and heavily breathing, while coughing and with different face covers. We found that all face covers without an outlet valve reduce the front flow through jet by more than 90 percent. So what they're saying is that all face masks help a lot. We also simulated an aerosol generating procedure, extubation, and we showed that this is a major hazard for clinicians. These results can aid policymakers to make informed decisions about PPE developers to improve their product effectiveness by design. So back to this guy, he says droplets from breathing would only be an issue if shedding was occurring in the lower respiratory tract, which seems unlikely for folks without symptoms. Even if breathing does cause infection, cloth masks may be the best at blocking breath droplets too. So, so that's So even this is confusing to me. Steph, tell me if you can help me understand this droplets from breathing would only be an issue if shedding was occurring in the lower respiratory tract, which seems unlikely for folks without symptoms. So in your lungs, that's a lower respiratory tract, because if this is the upper respiratory tract, so droplets from the... So that's still... But but the point, the, the overall point here to me is Cloths may be the best at blocking breath droplets. Okay. So if masks look so good on paper, do they work in practice? They sure seem to. In countries with universal mask wearing, per capita, coronavirus mortality increased by just 5.4% each week, compared with 48% each week in remaining countries. So that's, there you go. So that's, That evidence seems to say that that masks super work. Community use, so this is from Health Affairs, says community use of face masks and COVID-19, evidence from a natural experiment of state mandates in the United States. This study provides evidence from a natural experiment on effects of state government mandates in the United States for face mask use and public issued by 15 states plus D.C. between April 8th and May 15th. So what they're going to do is look at the states that had the face mask in place and see what it did. The research design is an it is an event study examining changes in the daily county level of COVID-19 growth rates between March 31st and May 22nd, 2020. Mandating face mask use in public is associated with a decline in the daily COVID-19 growth rate by 0.9, 1.1, 1.4, 1.7, and 2 percentage points in 1 to 5, 6 to 10, 11 to 15, 16 to 20, and 21 days after signing, respectively. So these numbers all relate to those numbers. So after 21 days, two percentage point decline associated if you wore. So that's a big deal. So the lower respiratory tract is in your lungs. That's what I said. And does not contribute to developing those droplets that cause the spread of COVID. Really? So if you have COVID in your lungs. You don't spread it only if it's in your upper respiratory, like your throat or your nose, your The upper respiratory tract creates the droplets, which is worse for people without symptoms. They could be spreading it without knowing. Okay, so there you go. So the point is masks work. These effects are observed uh, are observed conditional on other existing social distancing measures and are independent of the CDC recommendations to wear facial covers on April 3rd. As countries worldwide and states begin to relax social distancing restrictions and considering the high likelihood of a second COVID-19 wave in the fall and winter, requiring the use of face masks in public might help in reducing COVID-19 spread. 
Uh, here, so we'll go back to this guy. He says, numerous other models have shown the same results, including both SEA, SEIR and agent-based models developed by Dekai et al. Okay. And the, the, the sub-headline there says, if 80%, or the headline there from the article in Vanity Fair says, if 80% of Americans wore masks, COVID-19 infections would plummet. If you're wondering whether to wear or not wear, consider this. The day before yesterday, 21 people died of COVID-19 in Japan. In the United States, 2,129 people died. Comparing overall death rates for the two countries offers an event starker point, an, an even starker point of comparison with the U.S. total deaths now at a staggering 76,032, and Japan's fatal fatalities at 577. This comes despite Japan having no lockdown, still active subways, and many businesses that have remained open, reportedly including karaoke bars, or karaoke bars, although Japanese citizens and industries are practicing social distancing where they can did you know any of that? I didn't know that. I didn't know that Japan didn't do a lockdown. Nor have the Japanese broadly embraced contact tracing. Did you know that? Didn't know that. A practice by which health authorities identify someone who has been infected and then attempt to identify everyone that person might have interacted with and potentially affected. One reason is that nearly everyone there is wearing a mask in Japan said Dekai, an American computer scientist with joint appointments at UC Berkeley's International Computer Science Institute and at the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. He is also the chief architect of an in-depth study set to be released in the coming days that suggests that every one of us should be wearing a mask, whether surgical or homemade, scarf or bandana, like they do in Japan and other countries, mostly in East Asia. If 80% of the closed population were to don a mask, COVID-19 infections rates would statistically drop to approximately one-twelfth the number of infections compared to a live virus population in which no one wore masks. So Dr. Fauci is not just a little liar. Dr. Fauci is an unbelievable criminal liar. As far as I'm concerned. Go on a little further. He says, masks reduce the radius of the droplet cloud based both on the Solarian imaging study already mentioned above and based on these fluid dynamic simulations. So they show... Just more, just more showing you. That's just more showing you how the droplets work. Look, that's without a mask. That's with the mask. You see the difference? Do you see the fucking difference? It's a big difference. Without a mask, a turbulent jet forms and droplets with a broad size distribution are ejected. Large droplets greater than 125 micrometers in diameter fall to the ground within, within about two meters, while turbulent clouds transport a mist of small aerosolized droplets over significant distances, about five meters consistent with reported experimental findings. A loosely fitted, simple cloth ma mask qualitatively changes the propagation of the high-velocity jet and largely eliminates the turbulent cloud downstream of the mask. About 12% of the airflow leaks around the sides of the mask, considering a uniform gap of only one millimeter all around between the face and the mask. So what the spread of, of ejecta is also changed with most large droplets trapped in the mask surface. We present the viral load in the air and deposit it around the person and show that wearing even a simple cloth mask substantially decreases the extent of spatial spread of virus particles when an infected person coughs or sneezes. So it's, it really helps. I'll post additional tweets to answer questions here. First question in the replies was, is it enough just to avoid getting in front of people? No. Droplets hang around for 10 minutes or more 
and can blow around into a cloud formation. Will masks give me CO2 poisoning? No, they won't. This issue issue is about what's known as dead space. If you breathe through a snorkel, you have to move all the CO2 filled expired air out along the additional length of the snorkel before it is flushed out into the air. If you don't breathe bigger volumes, you do rebreathe CO2. How about face shields? Face shields are not well studied, but are probably a useful addition. Here's my max out. This guy made his own freaking face shield. So that's just a cloth and a rubber band, and that's like a, f- a file folder plastic thing that he put around his head. I heard a doctor claim masks don't work. Shouldn't we listen to experts like him? Yeah, that doctor was Fauci. He says, for any scientific issue, there will always be folks outside the scientific consensus, like climate change and vaccines. But most top, top experts say wear a mask. Well, not Dr. Fauci. He didn't say that. He just lied. My wearing a mask protects others, but does it also provide me with a meaningful protection? Yes. Depending on the material you use, try a layer of cotton and silk and how tight fitting it is. So some people say, so you've heard, I heard a lot of this at the beginning too, when they say masks wouldn't help you. They said, well, the virus is smaller than the ma- is smaller and than the opening in the mask, so it'll go through the opening in the mask, the virus. But what they don't tell you is that the virus isn't just floating out there by itself. It's aerosolized, meaning it's part of some kind of sputum or some kind of uh, 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 moisture that is around that's getting it. So there's other shit. So it won't if it's so it's wet. So it's not going to go through the the mask. And someone shows, here's an, here's a little experiment to, to show you this. Why a mask would work. Even though the coronavirus is smaller than the opening in that mask. Right? This irritates me to no end. Viruses don't just float around in your mouth dry. Dry sand. Here's, here's dry sand. So this guy does dry sand. Right? So he does this. So he drops dry sand through a, a, a sieve. Now here's wet sand. So it all goes right through. Here's wet sand. So this is showing you how if the virus was wet, do you see how it doesn't go through? Try to tap it down even. So that was a pretty good representation of the what we're talking about. And why masks actually do work. So there you go. They actually do work. There's evidence that they work. There's evidence. uh, There's ultraviolet light evidence. There's also uh, evidence, uh, event evidence, where they've studied places that wore masks and places that didn't. Those motherfuckers. People were going to fucking Ralph's without masks. People were going to supermarkets without masks. People were going to farmers markets without masks. People were going fucking everywhere without masks because Fauci told them, don't fucking wear masks. It's not going to help you. Mother, motherfucker. And over 100,000 people. And we could have reduced that by 80%. I mean, mean, we could have reduced that down to a 12th. What is one 12th of 100,000? Isn't it 12? I'll ask Suri. I'm so bad at math. Hey, Suri, what is one twelfth of a hundred thousand? One over twelve times one hundred thousand is about eight thousand three hundred thirty. So instead of a hundred thousand people dead, we'd probably have eight thousand people dead, according to what this article we just read says. So now is Fauci responsible for ninety-two thousand deaths? I guess we'll never know. Hey, this is the part where I tell you where our live shows are, but there aren't any. (laughs) And then I would tell you to go join our premium, but, but nobody has a fucking job. So why don't you just enjoy the video?